I am Dr. Nasir Ahmed. I am the specialist urologist in Astor Jubilee Medical Complex. And today, what I am going to talk to you is regarding the kidney stones, or called urolithiasis. Most of the stones are produced in the kidney, and they come down into the lower system, which is the tube which brings the urine down, which is called ureter, and then into the bladder. There are several reasons, the diet, the temperature, the jaw, all these factors do influence the stone formation. But most importantly, it is the intrinsic factors, that is a person's own body's physiochemistry, which is the most important influencing factor in the stone production. So a lifestyle modification is the most important factor which everybody should develop to control this disease. Of this, the most important thing one should do is to drink a lot of fluids. One should drink at least around 12 to 15 glasses of fluids so that they will produce at least 2.5 to 3 liters of urine in 24 hours time. The most important factor as far as the diet is concerned is that the non-vegetarian diet that is the everyday the meat the meat products and the non-vegetarian food and also the nuts like badam, pista, cashew nuts all these things you should reduce you can have anything and everything in a moderate way but you don't over indulge in any particular foodstuffs any person who develop a stone can have a 30 to 40 percent chance of having a stone recurrence if you are not careful in the next five years time the stones produce severe pain sometimes sometimes blood in the urine so whenever you find the blood in the urine it is a very important uh, symptom when you should consult uh, a urologist and check it out what is the problem the treatment of stone small stones do go with medications but larger stones will need interventional therapy like a laser treatment or keyhole surgery or shock wave lithotripsy so the best advice i can give you to prevent the stone formation is to drink water that's it thank you